Remember this stunning view? This is one of the first images of the James Webb Space Telescope. It's a star-forming region of space known as the Cosmic Cliffs, which is part of the Carina Nebula about 7,500 light-years away from us in the Carina Sagittarius arm of the Milky Way galaxy. The nebula is close enough to be seen with the naked eye, but is only visible in the southern hemisphere. Scientists have now taken a deep dive into this iconic image, finding dozens of energetic jets and outflows coming from newborn stars that were previously obscured by dust clouds. The Hubble Space Telescope has previously studied this region for years, but its optical instruments couldn't peer through the clouds. The Webb Telescope, on the other hand, observes infrared light, whose long wavelengths penetrate gas clouds easier than visible light. The Space Telescope has observed infant stars interact with their environments by taking in material and then ejecting some of it from their polar regions in the form of jets. These jets create cavities in the surrounding environment and heat the hydrogen gas, causing it to emit light. Jets like these last only a brief window of time when the protostar is actively accreting. That window is just a few thousand years out of the several million it takes a star to fully form. Scientists were also able to track the speed of jets and the direction in which they're moving by comparing the position of previously known outflows in this region to archival data by Hubble from 16 years ago. The protostar phase is the earliest phase in the process of stellar evolution. A protostar is still gathering mass from its parent molecular cloud. Protostars form when the gas and dust in a nebula start condensing and forming clumps. As these clumps collect more and more mass, their gravitational pull increases, forcing more atoms together. This process is known as accretion and is what forms a protostar. A protostar with at least 0.08 solar masses will eventually go on to begin hydrogen burning and will join the main sequence as a normal star. But if the protostar is less massive than this, the temperature will not be enough for hydrogen burning to begin, and it will become a brown dwarf star which is sometimes considered to be a star-planet hybrid. However, by analyzing the new web observations, scientists are better understanding how active these star-forming regions are. This observation is part of Webb's Early Release Observations Program. The discovery will also help us learn more about how stars like our Sun form and how the radiation from nearby massive stars might affect the development of planets. Scientists published a paper in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, and you can find a link to that in the description below. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.